So I participated in the myelofibrosis breakout group with about five other faculty members and there were probably about 60 attendees. And it was really a great discussion. And we really covered the whole spectrum you know, of questions and answers. You know, and the questions in these sessions are great because it occurs at the end of the day, so they've heard all, all of these great talks and a lot of you know, questions have arisen. I think there were real discussion really around the issue of transplant, in particular for the myelofibrosis group. When should I consider that? What goes into having a transplant? Uh, how do I best prepare for that sort of process? Should I ever have a transplant? Two, about new therapies. Three, about some of the things I had discussed regarding uh, should I be eating something different? Should I be more active? Uh, as well as really what is the, what should we expect in the future? So it's a really good discussion. And I think in these sort of breakouts, the attendees, they learn not only from the faculty, but they really learn from each other, as well as getting a sense that they are part of a community and learning a little bit as to some of the things that others in the group are experiencing as well as feeling that they're really not alone. You know, when you have an uncommon disease like an MPN, you can frequently feel that you, know, you don't know anyone personally that's afflicted. I think that's why it's amazing that groups like MPN Voice exist. So people realize they're part of a community and are able to both stay in contact, but as well get that frame of reference and support.